Hey guys, what is me a very quick video here about the new Firefox 4 Beta 8 release. Now, I know they are released a lot of different betas on this Firefox 4 and they're going to release two more betas after this one before they're going to release the full Firefox 4 final. But I thought just go through the new things in this new Beta 8. Now, I'm not going to go through how this new Firefox 4, how it is like the things that they've introduced in earlier beta versions I'm just going to go through the new things in this new beta 8 so let's begin okay I'm just going to close some tabs here okay so this is what it looks like like the same look as the older versions and I would say that there are four big things that they have made in this new version the first one which is a kind of a big one I would say but you don't actually see anything visual with it but that is that they have fixed over 1000 bug fixes compared to the previous beta version actually 1400 that was what Mozilla said no thanks I don't want to now the second thing is that they have made bookmarking no not bookmarking but synchronizing much easier to set it up synchronize all your add-ons, bookmarks, user preferences to your maybe if you have mobile version of Firefox it should be much easier now in you know some ways I have never used sync actually because I'm only using or no I'm using Safari on my iPod and Google Chrome on my browser and I don't feel the need to sync but they have made it easier to synchronize so that's kind of good now the third thing that I, f I found, I thought it was kind of cool, is that when you go to add-ons now, they don't open a new page. That is kind of cool, or a new window, because now they have like synchronized it into one single window here. And also it feels a little faster now when I open up new tabs, but yeah, it's, it's still laggy, but it's a little faster than the previous beta version beta 7 that I tried out and the last thing I would say it's the biggest one is that they now support WebGL you know this new 3D standard so they will have much better support and will perform much better in tests like HTML5 tests and hard resolution it, it's much better and if what I've read is that it's not that of a big speed increase compared to the old beta version maybe a little bit I saw a, an article that it was like 5% faster in the JavaScript test but I think I'm going to do some benchmarking tests and if they're really good I'm probably going to make a comparison between Google Chrome or perhaps even the previous beta version because yeah I'm probably not going to make a video if it's not that of a big increase in speed and stuff like that compared to the old so yeah yes so you know so that's the new things that they have introduced not that much new things they have still a long way to go though to Google Chrome 10 so if you like this video please don't forget to subscribe and I see you guys next time bye